So hi again, I'm going to continue on with our demonstration for the fairy house made out of the juice carton um, and with the egg boxes as well. And the last time I was talking to you the in the last video, I was saying about doing your, um, making your, your egg carton, your juice carton shape and then doing the brickwork wall effect. And just to show you here how I found it's nearly easier to um, put on the bricks and if they go over the edge a bit, just let them dry and then I can cut those bits off to trim it. So you can see what I mean about the staggered effect that the bricks are offset against one another. So one row, the next row is slightly stepped in from that so that you get the brick wall effect all the way around and as I said don't worry about the writing because we're going to be doing um, an effect over that as well to, co to cover that up. So I had stuck my roof down, <coughs> pardon me, made sure that my door still opens and I've cut my window in it as well. So I'm just going to trim off those little bits just like that so that it looks nice and neat. And this definitely is a project that grown-ups can get involved in too because there is a lot of cutting which might need a bit of help with um, and it'll be a joint project and look really fun. So the next thing I was saying about for the door, we were going to do, make a wooden door to stick on here and what you needed for this was some, these sticks are good because you can cut them with the scissors. So they're the little stirry sticks that come in the coffee. So if anybody's out at a garage, they can get some of those. And you're going to need, you'll only need two or three of them because you only need to cut the ends. So each stick gives you two ends, okay? And what you do is, putting it against your, your door, make a little mark on it to say, I need to cut it that much. And mark either side of that one so you know where the next one goes and measure it and then the next one. So like this, I'm going to actually stick it on so you can see what I'm showing you as I'm showing it to you. So I'm going to put just a tiny little bit of glue down there. So my middle one goes in there. Make sure I do it straight. I'll pop it down so I can just move that down just a wee bit so you can see what I'm doing here okay and the next stick along there and the next stick along there I will do a lovely paint finish on this push that over a bit need to make sure my door is still open I'm going to leave a tiny little bit of a space in there so I can fit a little handle in between. So you can see there the way I have my, I might have to trim a little bit on the end there just so I can still open the door. Fantastic. Now I want to do a little window. So what I did with the um, off cut pieces of, of the stick was to measure and cut four pieces to go around the window. And I measured this window first. So I know my window is two centimeters by three centimeters, but I want to put the sticks around that. So I got a little piece of square of paper that is the size of it. I'm going to stick the wood pieces on this because I want to draw on the front of it a little um, window. So what I'm going to do first off is with my pen, draw, I know that's the middle there. So measuring it out, this little square of paper is four centimetres by three centimetres. So I'm going to draw a frame across it. You 
you might need a little bit of help to make sure you get it bang on and then I'm going to get a bigger marker bigger black marker if you don't have a big black marker just keep going over with the one marker you do have for a bit to make a nice fat thick black line like that and then the other way And that will just make it look like a window, proper window in it. And behind that, probably should have drawn the the curtains on first. Just here, take it. I'm going to put a little set of little red curtains. Just colour them in there. my little curtains on with the window frame over it and then I'll just get my glue and put a wee bit of glue around the edges. Now I stuck this down with paper so it wouldn't keep them um, flying all over the place on me while I was trying to demonstrate it to you. So I just put it down with a bit of masking tape first which made it easier. So Getting my two side pieces of the window, I'm going to stick that down. I let this dry off and paint the frame before I go to stick it on. Over my window. I could probably have done my curtains in a bit more bit more glue down there. Problem is everything starts sticking to my fingers. I can always colour in a bit more so I've covered up my curtains a wee bit too much but I can draw them in again. And when that wood sticks in place I'm going to paint it black so the black frame will be all the way around. And then I can pull it off the piece of card and I can stick it can stick it over my window and if I wanted to I could put a little battery tea light in here and make a little night light out of it because the light would shine out through the little window as well just to make it look cute and see that the little fairies are at home there so I'm going to leave that window aside for the moment and the next thing you're going to need to do is cut a piece of cardboard for your roof and the way to know the size of the piece of cardboard you're going to need is to measure how wide your box is. So this is 10 centimetres wide, but I want my roof to go over the front and over the back a bit. So I'm going to actually need it to be 12 centimetres wide. So my piece is 12 centimetres wide. And for it to go up and over both sides of the roof, I'm going to need to measure how much one side is and that's six centimeters that way and this one is 10 centimeters but again I'm going to need an overhang so 10 and 6 is 16 but I'm going to let it hang two centimeters each side so that means 10 plus 2 makes 12 and 6 plus 2 makes 8 so 8 and 12 all together will make 20 so my piece of card is 12 centimeters by 20 centimeters and I know I'm going to need to bend it come in eight centimeters and bend it so that I have 12 one side and eight the other and that's how that piece is going to go on but before I get to that I'm going to do something else to the the house first because we're not finished that yet and then we're going to tile the roof as well. So there's still a fair bit of making to be done on this. But as you can see, it's beginning to come along and look pretty good. So um, for now, I'm going to let you all get to this stage of it. And then we can come back and, and do a bit more. This is still drying off a bit. So I'm going to let that all dry nice and hard before I start doing anything else. 
So I hope you're enjoying it. One last thing before we, we finish off, because we're going to be sticking tiles on the roof, on the edge of your egg box, there's a bit of the, on the corners that is kind of bent. If I tear that there and hold it that way, you'll see what I mean. It's not straight, it's a curvy bit. And it's a good idea to keep a bit of this cardboard because when you put all your tiles on and this row comes up here and this row comes up here, we'll need, if you look at the roof of your house, there's a tile running right along the top. This is called the ridge of the roof. And what goes on the ridge of a roof is called a ridge tile. And this will be a perfect ridge tile for the top. So keep that bit of that box as well. We'll go on and make that next time. Take care. Bye bye.